Hey everyone, I'm Joey with Game Nerds, and today we're gonna bring you something special. Who do I have here with me? Uh, my name is Spencer, and also beside me, who's gonna share my mic? Laura. Hey, what's up, guys? Well, who else do we have with us? Hey, everybody. Uh, it's Parker. I can't wait to share my Gen Con games with everybody. Who else do we have? Hey, everybody. I am Rosa, and I'm part of the studio team, and I also work in the warehouse, and I cannot wait to talk about my game picks. We're gonna look at our most anticipated games at Gen Con 2024. Does anybody mind if I go first? Uh, All right, thanks. I'm just kidding, I don't mind. Probably fine. So uh, <laughs> my first pick, um, one of the thoughts that I had was I really like, I was going to say that Rock Hard was my most anticipated, but I've played it and I've made a video about it. And so I felt like, eh, I'm not over it. I'm, I'm not over excited it. about it. I mean, great. I'm excited to play it, but as far as like anticipating it. Right, not. right, right. But there is another game out there that kind of fills a little bit of a similar uh, category, and that is Hi-Fi. I saw this, I think it started coming out and having a you know an appearance at Origins. And when I saw that part of the game is actually a turntable that you use for action selection, I think I think it's a Rondell. I think it's oh, a really? rondelle. Yes. It's Hit him. Me. Yeah. Hit him. <laughs> There's actually a real working turntable on the board. And so during the hi fi game, uh, you actually are making music. Whereas in something like Rock Hard, you're doing the whole thing, right? You're doing the living as an artist, whatever. And this one, you're just making the music, which is why you have the hi fi. So I just want to get my hands on the. Turning the table and the turntable, the turntable, <laughs> and can you be a DJ for a second? Can you just be like, can you put your hand on your, and then just like go in? We need it, a gif of this or something like that. Mm -hmm. like, Ricky, Ricky, Icky, oh, <laughs> Icky, 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 Icky. Icky. <laughs> okay, Icky, Ricky. That's what it sounds Icky. like when you scratch the record. <laughs> Ricky, it's like it's like this. It's like this. It's like oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's great. <laughs> Uh, so anyway, um, <laughs> I'm really excited for Hi-Fi to release at Gen Con. And then uh, one thing I'm even more excited about is that we actually have this game up for pre-order right now, GameNerds.com. If you're interested in learning more about this game, you can go to nerds.me slash hi-fi. And I'm still waiting on the sequel, nerds.me slash lo-fi. That's going to be oh, a good one. Oh, got you. Okay. Yeah. Hi. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's the that's the prequel. I'm also waiting oh, yeah. for the expansion Wi-Fi. <laughs> oh. yeah. Good one. Good one. Thank you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, we're up to me. And I'm I know I'm real original with this one, but I am very much looking forward to ARCs. Uh, mostly because of how much Spencer <laughs> talks face. about root around here and uh, it looks great. And I know it's the same designer and the space theme is really great. I want to mm. be able to raid my friends. That's gonna be so fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Great art. Game is very hype right it now. It is so it is so hype, and I know everybody everybody knows about it. But I think it's gonna be a really big game mm -hmm. that uh, that I'm gonna absolutely love and play the crap out well, of. Well, I think the in our chat we've had some questions about our nerds game or uh, game nerds involvement with arcs or like how if we're gonna have it available. Yes, we are. Well, so what happened was is it sold out because of the mm -hmm. hype, and then we were able to get more inventory for that and so yeah. at least last time i checked there was still it's still some in stock so or still uh, pre-orders mm. available so go over to nerds.me slash mm. arcs a r c s mm. and get you a copy before it's too late because this is not only my one of mm. my most anticipated games of gen con mm. it is one of many people's yeah. uh, most anticipated games of gen con it is way up there on the, li on I, the list i yeah. would have had it on my list if you hadn't beat me to it <laughs> I thought you were gonna be mad about it, and no. And so, I tried really hard to not to get sucked into this game. I didn't back the Kickstarter. Uh, I just I I failed. So um, <laughs> you crumbled into arcs. The... Arcs looks incredible. So it does. It's coming out soon too, right? Yep. Yeah, but you can get well, it at Gen Con right now. October is. Oh, you will is, be able to. Retail is like October. Oh, okay. Hey, that'll so. be here before you know it. Go to Gen Con. You no, can yeah. probably get right it before that. Spend September. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you know what's after that? <laughs> Halloween. Spooky. All right, who's next? <laughs> I think Parker. Uh, yes, I've got a game that I'm very looking much, very much looking forward to, but it's going to be featured at Gen Con. It's not going to be released or like the hype or anything isn't just now starting. It is Slay the Spire. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Slay the Spire, for those that may not know me, uh, I love 
like solo games, Slay the Spire can be played solo. It can be also played with uh, up to five people, which this is coming from a video game adaptation, which is a solo game. Uh, it's a roguelike, so you're, you know, the world's gen randomly generated as you fight randomly generated enemies up a tier, and they, they get harder as you go. Of course, you gain randomly generated items that help you along your way, gear, mm -hmm. spells. But importantly about this game is it's a deck-building roguelike, so uh, I just love that, like, I love TCGs as well. So it kind of merges so many different elements of, of thematics that I love about gameplay all into one. And when I saw this, actually, I, I was looking into it because I was like, how did I miss it? Apparently, the Kickstarter was fully backed in 2022, like a long time ago. So now to just now start to see the retail editions hitting the hitting the floor. Uh, uh, Spencer has spent a picture of it in our warehouse yes. what, yesterday or the day uh, before. The day before, we actually have received our stock of it. And I think I saw game nerds say this released yesterday. So yeah, yeah. so it sure did. Uh, if you are at going to Gen Con, unlike us, unfortunately, and this was on your radar, and you're like, I don't know, I'm not sold yet. Find the booth, get to it. it you're gonna want to see it played. It's like there's like almost 500 plus cards because again, it's a deck building game. It's so good, uh, and I can't wait to get my hands on it. So yeah, this 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 made the pick for me. Yeah, very nice. Let's All right, so my turn, and my first pick is. Sea Dragons. This looks like a really cool game that you get to be the dragons taking out pirate ships. Awesome. Whoa. Right? Oh. So, yeah, so, you're... So, that's so much better than being the pirates, honestly. I know, right? I and trying to fight the sea dragons. Like, that's so done. This, we get yeah. to be the sea dragons. You're taking over those pirate ships, sinking them. Some of them, you can use them to, like, complete missions for you. And you're wanting to have, like, the area majority also in your board. Your family will be the protector of the seas from humans mm -hmm. and stuff. It's really cool looking. And there's tiny little sea dragon Ooh. that you put all over the board. It looks fun. It just caught my attention with that the That sounds box. fun. Mm -hmm. yeah. Definitely. So, it kind of looks good. like a red... Um, Sail. I know, yeah. It, it does. does. Looking at it, it looks kind of like sail. It's so nice. I like it. I guess it could be interpreted as being the opposite side of it. Because mm -hmm. in sail, you're trying to avoid mm -hmm. the sea dragons with oh. your ship. Oh, it's the other perspective, basically. Almost, yeah. With, <laughs> yeah. with totally different mechanics in yeah, this yeah, one. Yeah. But, yeah. It's the same artist? Of oh, course, wow. that's why it's the same artist. I got a good eye like that. It's because mm -hmm. I like comic books. Just the one good eye. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> one eye. <laughs> Just like a pirate that <laughs> lost their eye to a dragon to a in the sea. sea. Dragon. Yeah, there yeah. you go. All right. But yeah, that's my first pick is, is sea awesome. dragons. Well, that's what's great. Rosa excited about? I'm excited about, um, actually, it's a game that I've already packed a couple of times. Uh, it's called Let's Go to Japan. Ooh. Ooh. And nice. honestly, I've always wanted to go to Japan. And I love traveling. I don't get to do it very much. But if I could go somewhere, it'd be there. Um, and this game is like a, it's very like low strategy, you know, it's, it's more focused on like, what would, do you like tr planning your travel itinerary? Like that's, that's the game for mm -hmm. you. Hmm. So yeah, that's basically <laughs> my top pick right there. So if you want to <laughs> like go a to a price line negotiator game, it's, if you want to <laughs> go to Japan, but you can't travel there, this is the next best thing probably, right? Yeah, like yeah, you don't even yeah, have to yeah, go to Japan yeah. anymore. Mm -hmm. You yeah. just play the game and you're right. there and you're done. You don't yeah. have to. You're like, oh, I feel I, that's cross it off my bucket list. There we go. Oh, that's great. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the artwork is, looks fantastic. That's my great. next pick is an oldie, but a newie. And this game is called Scoville Second Edition. What? what? Guys, Laura and I played. Wait, is that a Vincent Dutrait? It is. Part of my I'm discussion sorry. is that is that about the spice? It's about the spice. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Whatever that thing is, he's like throwing the. That's salt, bay. That's, that's uh, yeah. He salt goes like this. Spice. Salt is a spice, like, technically. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> Scoville, this game came out I think in like 2014, 2015 from Tasty Minstrel Games, and Laura and I gave it a try at uh, one of the Dice Tower cons, mm -hmm. and we loved it. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I don't remember a whole lot about the the mechanics, but you're doing things about like breeding different types of peppers. Yeah, I remember the peppers. Yeah. The colors. Yeah, lots of pepper. And like you're moving around this grid of the field and you're trying to combine different types of peppers uh, to make new ones. The publisher for this right here. the publisher for this one is Trick or Treat Games, which um, they're starting to branch out branch out away from the horror genre and yeah. doing some other things, cool. which I love seeing. I love that too. But yeah, since this has been out of print because of the um, closing of Taste of Your Minstrel, I'm so glad to see a new printing of it. And with new artwork by Vincent Dutrait, love it, looks great. And so we never had 
a copy of this, mm -hmm. but I'm excited this is coming back out because um, I want to uh, acquire it. It's it's a lot of fun and it looks great as well. I was gonna say, is that trick or treat? When uh, when somebody asks, and because I I now recognize it from the, the black bottom. bar mm -hmm. at the bottom with yeah. the names. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Maybe it does have ghost peppers, John. I don't know. Oh, <laughs> that's their tie-in. So ghost. Ooh, boo. <laughs> yeah. Or maybe you eat something that's so hot you turn into a ghost. Very good. Oh, my next, next one. Yeah. So my next one. Uh, Parker was talking about uh, a roguelike board game, and I'm also going to talk about another roguelike board game. Uh, this is Dead Cells, also oh. based on a video game. Let me. Is this another one that I stole from you? Yes. It, it was, but that's okay. I, 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 playing it right. But he, now. I love Joey Dead Cells. Introduced I'm the Spencer, one that told him. About he's the one that Dead told me about Cells. the game. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I, I want to know something. Like, obviously, it, we're kind of the same idea. You know, it's a roguelike. It's based on the video game and everything. You play through it. You start again. You do the thing. Is this a and I, I want Chad to help me out with this because I don't know. Is this a new genre for board games? Is this something that's going to be like taking off over the next couple of years, or are there other games that are in this genre as well? I really want to know. May I offer? Yeah, uh, please. Thing? Yeah. So the whole thing about the roguelite, which is what you introduced mm -hmm. me to, is you do runs, right? You yeah, go, you do a run. You go as far as you can. You die. You start over with mm -hmm. better stuff. You and do, so the, and it's random. Right. The first thing that made me think of that was Time Stories, mm -hmm. where if you play Time Stories, you never um, win the first run. And that's the thing that I know I disliked about that game, because <laughs> I don't <laughs> want to... So, it was so annoying of, like, it wasn't even just you didn't win the first run. Right. You didn't win, like, mm -hmm. the first three. But the thing was... You're never like that, meant to win on the first run. Well, the thing was that wasn't the expectation wasn't that we had. Oh, okay. Right. right, okay. <laughs> so so as far as that being a genre of board games, of uh, an official rogue-like or light genre, I don't think it's out there, but I could see there being games that fit that, and maybe mm -hmm. after the success of this, which I love this game. Mm -hmm. This game is... The, the video game is fun. Love to see how they do it in board game. Mm -hmm. If these are, um, you know... Uh, successful. I'm sure you'll see it much more. Roguelites are amazing. Like, in video game form, they're incredible. They're some of my favorite games. Like uh, Hades is my top favorite. Um, Gunfire Reborn, those kinds of games, and Rogue, of course. But like, I like I'm calling it right now. As they're being adapted into board games, I'm calling it right now. It's going to be a new hype. Wow. The, like I think it's going to be the next big thing. Maybe. We've got game nerds is saying Legacy of You. Yeah. Okay. Legacy of Legacy of Me. <laughs> we always make that joke. <laughs> Cosmic Seat says, Hey, Sue, yeah, you know. Um, so, but like, I, I'm gonna call it, it's gonna be the next big thing. There's gonna be a bunch of roguelikes coming out in the next couple of years. I guarantee it. Cool. I'm calling possibly. it right now. Yeah, possibly. All right. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Uh, it's back to me. Back to you. Mm -hmm. It is back to me. And for my next game that I'm really looking forward to, uh, we've spoken about it uh, just recently on the stream. It is Witchcraft. Ooh. Uh, another. Uh, game. This game is actually spooky, unlike Scoville by Trick or Treat. This one has got some spooky thematics. I love the... That's fire. The, <laughs> Good. This one actually has ghosts in it. No, it probably doesn't. It's witches. Uh, so uh, in this game, this is not like a, a sequel to, but it, it, uses, it adopted a lot of the same mechanics for a game called Resist. Um, and then that game, it is a solo game similar to Witchcraft, where your, your agency lies in kind of how you... Would, deal with what's happening on a few different cards and how those cards are flipped. And, and it says it's a really fun interaction and interactive game for it being a solo game. But it's very difficult. Uh, the few times that I've played resist, I have yet to beat it. Um, which is it, 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 you know, when you're playing by yourself and you can't win, it's kind of like, who do you blame? You know? <laughs> uh, uh, but so witchcraft, I think is going to take some of that burden off of me a little bit because I love like the horror genre, um, in film, video games, whatever. So this, at least if I lose, it's like, oh, I like this. And it's coming out around the spooky season time of the year. Um, so I'm really excited to uh, get my hands on this. Of course, if you're going to Gen Con and you're interested, you could check this out. We do have this up for pre-order, and it is uh, exclam or, sorry, nerds.me slash witchcraft. Uh, no exclamation on that nerds.me link. But check it out. Uh, the game looks super, super fun, really compact. Again, solo player. So if you're interested in solo games like me, then this is this should be on your pick too. Uh, Spencer, what do you think? You you liked Resist, didn't you? Or did you not? I uh, didn't play it. Oh, you didn't play it. He oh. had it but didn't play it. No. no, I just had it. I brought it up <laughs> here, but I didn't know if you'd borrowed it. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, you bought it for me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's right. 
Yeah. Fargo, Fargo was like, this one's actually scary. I wanted to, <laughs> I wanted so to play. I was super interested in it. Oh, that's just, right. But you just never... That's what right. it was. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I, this, this one, I probably would be more inclined to play this one as well. Uh, yeah. Nice. I want to play this. Yeah, we should play it together as one person. Uh, <laughs> we could. You could technically We've done that do that. Final girl. Really? Actually. That's yeah. awesome. I it's like fun. that yeah. idea. Let's say hi real quick to Scars. One no more. One. Hey, one, what, one up, no, scars? One what up, Scars? What up, Scars? Whatever. One, anyway. one no. One more. Yep. <laughs> one. Scars. Good. That was a great pick, Parker. Thanks. Uh, I appreciate it. Really good. All uh, the short list on my short list as well. Yeah. So. Yeah. All right. Next. Uh, back uh, you. to Laura. You. Yeah. You are next. Okay. Cool. Uh, my next pick is Lure, which is from All Play, and it's a dice rolling game. So uh, people who know me from back in the day when we did our podcast and our review channel know that I love dice. Hashtag Laura loves dice. Yes, I absolutely <laughs> love them. And so uh, this game, <laughs> Lou Ray. you are collecting <laughs> Lou Ray. You are uh, collecting your dice and using those to try to catch the biggest fish. Like it's a it's a fishing tournament. Mm -hmm. um, however, uh, you want to be a little. You want to be strategic with your dice. Uh, the fewer dice that you use increases your chances of getting to go fishing first to get the best. Uh, choice of fish. However, um, the more dice you use increases your chances of actually catching it because when you're rolling, you're trying to roll um, the either beat or match the target number of that fish. Mm. So uh, more dice increases that chance, but makes you have to wait later to go fishing. So uh, mm. I just think it sounds really cool. There's also little things like there's player screens and stuff to like, it's very secrecy, mm. you know. Uh, it makes it sound like I mean, I've, I'm not the kind of person who sits and watches fishing tournaments, so it makes it sound like there is a ton of, like, you know, keep this to yourselves, you know? Almost oh. like how baseball players, you know, when they go to talk on the mound, they cover their mouths. Like, I'm like you do that in a fishing tournament, I feel like too? I feel like, like if I caught a big fish, I'd brag. Is I'd be, when we play well, this, we all I'm, know you yeah. would, Joey. <laughs> like, well, when we play this, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to catch myself a big old catfish. <laughs> big old cat. A big, <laughs> a a big old thing. trophy bass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> big. <laughs> I don't know where he was going to go with that. <laughs> well, I was trying to decide if I should say, never mind. Yeah. Okay. But <laughs> Uh, oh, that's why you got to be quiet. Yes, when you're fishing, game nerds, you're right. Uh, but <laughs> yes, that's my pick fish. is lure from all play. Nice. That was fun. That, the game does look really Wait, fun. so if you scream at fish, they don't catch, they don't jump into your boat? No. <laughs> <laughs> that, is, oh, okay. that is a throwback to all my peeps who used to watch like All Star, Homestar Runner and uh, Strong Bad Emails. Yes, I used yet, to watch those. Come on, get in the boat, fish, fishy. Come on, get in the boat. Fish. That was the lure and a jig <laughs> when he went fishing. Lure and a jig. Catch oh, a fish with that's blue hair. That's great. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> All right. Well, um, next up, we got Rosa. Rosa, Rosa, what's your next pick? Yeah, my second pick uh, would be Metro Runner. I am massively into cyberpunk as like an aesthetic, as a, you know, games and all that. So, but it's it's your standard like resource collection, um, worker movement kind of game. I think it has our friend Rondell in it, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> it's for like one to five players. But Thunderworks Games published this, oh. and uh, I think with the Kickstarter, you could order. Like there's like a puzzle in the middle of the board game that has tiles, and those tiles you could get them metal and they're UV activated. Whoa! Whoa. So they glow, and That's it was just cool. like, dude, this that That's is amazing. Peak that is cool. aesthetic there. So <laughs> oh yeah, yeah for sure. <laughs> for sure. I hadn't heard of this game before. That looks cool. Yeah, it seems like a lot of the cyberpunky theme things are really taking off right now. Mm -hmm. Oh which yeah, I'm not oh, yeah. sad about. I am not sad about that either. <laughs> I'm with you on that. Yeah, that's awesome. That game looks sweet. Great pick. It makes me think of like Metroid. That's what I thought yeah. first of, was like a Metroid game, but mm -hmm. it's not. But I bet it's still good. There's even like three more official cyberpunk board games coming out. Right. Three? It's crazy. I think there's three more. There's Edge Runners, and then there's the actual cyberpunk board game, not the Gangs of, of, of Night City. Well, and I think there's another one. Then there's LA One, which is a little no, cyberpunk. No, I mean like actual oh, cyberpunk, like, like brand, like the cyberpunk the, oh. Cy TM. yeah, cyberpunk oh, okay. TM, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but other, but yeah, you're right. There's LA One, like the the actual setting. I see. I see. Okay. Mm -hmm. cool. All right. Well, great pick. Um, here is my final pick for the little segment that we're doing here, and that is called <laughs> Sirens. Now, one thing that I did was I went to the list, the uh, Board Game Geek list of everything coming out, and you sort by 
most thumbed, so people who are most interested in it. And I actually went down a lot to try to hit some that aren't as high up but still look interesting. And this was on there. Now, this sounds like a fun little game, and it is, it is a little game. What you're doing is you are competing sirens, essentially, trying to get the boat, like lure the boat to your side as a siren. Oh, that's cool. And so, you're luring yeah, it. you're luring it. Yes. So, luring a big old catfish. This is a, <laughs> this can be a one or two player game. Um, but I think that sounds fun to be competing of trying to get the the boat over to your side a as a siren yeah concept for a game. yeah and it's like it's that. mostly card play with it there's a little board there but i just thought it was a great concept again b- being small and um i at first i thought it was a trick taking game kind of like um Same. sale like we've talked about of playing tricks but it's not but yeah the whole premise of being a siren and luring the sailors to their death. Wait, you get to be the siren? You are yeah, the siren. You're the siren. Yeah. Spencer, you're not luring anyone. <laughs> I'm just playing. I don't know. I'm just kidding. My beard says otherwise. I like your yeah, he's gonna use his beard. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm gonna get a harp and I'm gonna be like <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's got the curls. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I really like the Greek like Hercules look to it mm-hmm. on the Yeah. Yeah, like yeah that's cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 It looks yeah. fun. So that's my my final pick for this video, Sirens. That looks really nice. good. That's a nice pick. Thank you. Um, on to my next pick. I saw somebody mention it in the chat earlier, so don't worry. It's Comic Hunters. Yes. I know it's kind of been around for a while, but now you're going to be able to get it here in the states. So you're going to be able to get it here at Gen Con, and it's a it's a it's a Marvel game. It's a it's an actual Marvel game, and you're going to you you collect comic books, like you hunt down and collect comic books, like. Rare stuff, so that's awesome. And they have the cards that have the actual comic book covers on them. Cool. Amazing. This is also like, called right jo- up my alley. This is all called Joey's Saturday. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I often go to like the toy shows or comic cons and, and and enjoy myself. I don't really collect. I, I used to collect really heavily, but now I'm mostly digital. But um, so that's why it kind of it's, it's fun. But I do go to the shows and stuff like that, and I see all these very comics that they show in the game and stuff like that for all the expensive monies. Wow. So awesome! I, I was like, "Wow, this is this is a really cool idea." But it's a drafting game, so mm-hmm. um, and you get to compete with other people. You, you know, you've got value versus collection and stuff like that. That's gonna be a really cool game to play. We have to play that, I think. That's gonna be a very nice visual game. I'm yeah. in. I'm in. Yeah, me too. So my next and last game, of course, there were a lot. This was the top cut. As well. Another one that I've spoken about on stream, but it was a long time ago, is Galactic Cruise. Ooh. This game looks so cool. So this is a this is a worker replacement game. Um, you don't actually replace your workers. <laughs> this is a running joke. I am not illiterate. <laughs> Work replacement. <laughs> <laughs> this is a work worker placement game where essentially you are you and your uh, other players are going head to head. You are basically CEOs of this uh, galactic, intergalactic space expedition where uh, me and you or whoever I'm playing with have to compete to make the most like appealing and accommodating uh, spacecrafts for our dwellers, essentially. And so like right off the bat, I was like, dude, this triggers like vault dweller fallout vibes for me. Like you got to get, there's some funny images that show like some of the rooms that you can put in there, like laser tag rooms, movie theaters. Uh, what else did I put on here? There was like a distillery, cocktail lounges. So you have to make it like <laughs> what you on Earth would have wanted, but you're sending them off to space. But you do have to make sure that your resources and you have to like hire and fire staff and like run departments of this space mission and stuff. So hence the worker placement stuff. So Thematically, it all ties in with a lot of the things that I really enjoy. So this game looks fantastic. I love the artwork. Love the um, just overall scheme of the of the game. So yeah, I, ha- I had to had to pick it. Had to pick it. That's you a great. To. That's a great pick. Yeah, I I, I am newly interested in uh, worker placement games because for the longest yeah. time. Yeah. I thought y'all were saying work replacement. <laughs> and so I was saying like, I was like, who would want to do that? It's like you're doing a job, you know, because like in video games, I don't like to build. I don't like to be the builder guy. Let me go hunt and stuff like that. But like, I so I'm like, I don't want to work in a board <laughs> game. So I completely avoided those kinds of games for a long time. And then we played Rock Hard and I was like, wait, this is a work replacement game? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, a worker placement game. And I was like, this is awesome. I want to play more. And I'm sorry, I was like bugging Spencer about like different ones that are great that I could try out. So, well, yeah. Yeah, I, I ironically <laughs> started calling them worker replacements like a year ago. 
and, and Joey never heard any otherwise, so yeah. he just always thought that was the name. <laughs> I, like, I was like, that sounds boring. Look, read Geek's quote that he uh, pulled. I don't want to work, Joey 2024. <laughs> I don't really want to do the work today. I don't really want to do the work today. But hey, if, if anybody's going to Gen Con, since we, we can't go and you're getting some of my picks, you know, just maybe you want to get one for me and send them to me, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. Or yeah, maybe a, you want to send it over here. Get a pick with it. and I don't yeah. want to see pictures of Galactic Cruise, Witchcraft, or Slay the Spire, please. You can be like, <laughs> you can be like I got this big old board game. <laughs> What a, what a joker. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> All right, Laura, it is back to you for your final, back to so, me. final pick. My final pick is a Bezier game. Uh, we have a history with Bezier games because we used to demo Bezier games at BGG mm -hmm. and uh, loved working with them. And I have also always loved their werewolf universe. Mm -hmm. So let's continue down that path with Sears catalog. <laughs> I think it's so clever. There are so many cool things about it. They do such a great job too of like being immersive in that universe. And um so you're you're getting you're getting products to ward off werewolves, but it's also it's a it's a card shedding. Uh you're you're trying to get cards out of your hand. Uh but it, it just it all looks so fun. Look at that cover. I yeah, mean, this looks great. It looks like a Sears catalog. It looks, I, it I thought there was a typo. Yeah. I was I, like, well, what is this supposed to be about? They should have put Bob Vila on there or something. Hi, Bob Vila here with an exciting new hand tool from Sears. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there's a little get a lawnmower. Pick out the freaky werewolf in the doorway on the cover. So yeah, Ooh. it's a sliding glass door behind the them, and there's a werewolf there. Mm. But they've got like the the products to ward off the werewolf, so it's staying outside. Uh, but there's, I mean, there's all sorts of fun, clever like names silver. for each of the products. Silver is one of my favorite that Bezier did. Oh. Uh, they've got a whole series of s games called Silver. Joey, you didn't oh, even know. Joey accidentally so slammed on didn't even I'm know so good at my job. Doing it. Um, which I would love to know, <laughs> chat, if any of you have played any of the Silver games, which one is your favorite iteration? I think that um, Silver Amulet is, and I think I like Dagger. Mm -hmm. Those are the two that I really like the best. But, um, uh, Sears catalog. It just it sounds so much fun. Um, I really I since I loved silver so much, it is that same kind of it's the card game and stuff. So um, but you're it's a different style and it just it looks so fun. Mm -hmm. And I think Bezier just does such a good job with these games inside of their werewolf universe. So I see. Yeah. Let's keep Great it rolling. Pick. Great pick. Yeah, yeah. This oh. is up for uh pre-order right now, nerds.me slash Sears. Yes. Nice. Yes. Spelled the way you see it on screen. I know. I like how we, we're saying Sears yes, catalog. Sears. <laughs> and we're like trying which which are you saying when you say Sears? Are you saying S E E R or S E? -R? Oh no, they went out of business. Did they, they did. No. -E oh, that's right. They closed. did. Yeah. Sears and Roebuck. I mean, yeah. they were around for that's over where I got 100 my, years. That's where I got my first washer. Oh, and Bob Vila <laughs> disappeared too at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> he lost that Sears check. What? <laughs> <laughs> Hurry to Sears. You can count on me. All right. So we <laughs> Let's are, go to Rosa. We are on to Rosa for her final pick <laughs> and to round us out for the bit here. Oh, man. My final pick. Um... Something to know about me, if I weren't here doing this job, I think I would be a cheese maker somewhere in the south of France. Like, that would <laughs> be my backup there. Um, fromage is my last pick. Ooh. Game God, this game looks about good. making cheese and so selling good. the cheese. Hyperoni and cheese. And <laughs> <laughs> Hyperoni and cheese. Yes, yeah, so if you are a turophile, this game is for you. It's um, made by, published by uh, Road to Infamy Games, who I think made Canvas and the Canvas games. And uh, so it looks like fun, gorgeous art in that game as well. I would oh, really yeah. love to get my hands on it. Yeah, when I was looking this mm -hmm. game up, I was looking at the pictures. I was like, wow, you're like building your cheese wheels. Whoa, and like, that's cute. It yeah. looks, the components are adorable. I, yeah. I, I, I have to get a hold of this game too. Are they components that look delicious? Would you eat yes, I would, I would, I would, I would, I would throw one in the cheek for a little bit. Yeah. I, I love <laughs> that's, cheese is probably the easiest thing to make look real and delicious because it's just a block. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Mm. I love all those fancy cheeses, but just give me some extra sharp ched. I'm good. Oh, yeah. Some triscuits and some ched. Some ched. <laughs> nice. Anyway, so that's that. Ched ours. Well, that. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, that is that is our list of the games we are all most anticipating to release at Gen Con 2024. Tell hey. us what you tell us what you're looking forward to this yeah. year. Yeah, I want to know. So let us know right there where we can read them. What you're looking forward to at Gen Con 2024. 